The long-awaited Lantern Ride Festival has finally come to the official release of Genshin Impact and I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I especially like the amount of Primo Gems we are getting for free. But I got to wondering exactly how much of the Lantern Ride is inspired by Chinese culture, since of course, Li Wei is based on China. Unfortunately, there was no developer post to spell it all out for me, so here's what I found with my own research. Naturally, we will begin with the main theme of the festival, the Zhao Lantern. Now you may think that it is directly referring to the Adeptus Zhao, but it's not. The Chinese word for Zhao Lantern is Xiao Deng, containing the characters for Heaven and Lantern. So, despite having the same reading, this is not the character in Zhao's name which means Demon. In-game, Zhao Lanterns are used to complete requests and attempt theater mechanics challenges, but you can also use them from the inventory to release them. They are crafted with one lantern fiber, one wick material, and one plasterite shard. The fiber is used to wrap the lantern, the wick is burned to light up the lantern, and the plasterite allows the lanterns to float on their own. In Chinese culture, there are many different kinds of lanterns, but the Zhao Lantern most closely resembles the Tian Deng, or Sky Lantern. These are made with a stiff bamboo frame wrapped in oiled rice paper. In the center is a small candle or other waxy, flammable material. This serves as not only the light source, but also the mechanism which allows these lanterns to float in the sky. The air inside the lantern is heated, and the rising hot air inside the lantern is strong enough to lift the entire thing. It's basically a miniature hot air balloon. The two lanterns differ in that Zhao lanterns carry wish strips attached to them, and sky lanterns are banned in some places for being fire hazards. In game, Vergoldet mentions that the build up to the day of the festival is part of the celebration. This does in fact reflect real Chinese New Year celebrations. Unlike the New Year celebrated for one day at the beginning of the Gregorian calendar, the Lunar New Year is a 15 day celebration. The first day is marked by the second new moon after the winter solstice. Each day has its own significance and traditions associated with it. For example, on day 2 it is customary to visit friends and family, and on day 3 you typically relax at home. Day 14 is all dedicated to preparing for the next and final day. The entire celebration culminates with the day of the Lantern Festival as well as the first full moon of the lunar year. This year it will fall on the 26th of February. With the beautiful full moon in the background, the night is filled with lanterns, fireworks, and lots of delicious food. Symbolically, the celebration represents the commemoration of those who came before us. The lanterns released at night act like beacons to guide spirits back to their homeland. The theme for those celebrating is bidding farewell to the old and welcoming the new. This is true for both in-game and in real life. You may have noticed that for the Lantern Red celebration, many red decorations have been constructed in Liwei Harbor. The color red is commonly associated with Chinese New Year, and that can be traced back to the celebration's folklore origin. It states that the mythical beast Nian ate livestock, crops, and even people on New Year's Eve. However, the color red and loud noises from things like firecrackers would scare it away. Even outside of the New Year, the color red has grown to symbolize good fortune and joy in Chinese culture. The last of the things I have to talk about I couldn't exactly find direct comparisons for. Let's start with the Lantern Rite's main minigame, Theater Mechanicus. In universe, it is a tabletop game created by Ruijin. In real life, there's certainly no tower defense tabletop game, but it is common to pass the time spent with friends and family by playing traditional Chinese games like Mahjong and Chinese chess. The Zhao Market, once again using the character for Heaven, is set up for the purpose of fundraising the Ming Zhao Lantern. I'm not sure if there are markets like this during Chinese New Year, but it is true that preparing for the Lantern Festival is a community-wide effort. Speaking of the Ming Xiao Lantern, I feel like this is a specific reference, but I couldn't find anything talking about a single, large, important lantern. However, part of Chinese New Year is dedicated to worshipping the gods and praying for good fortune in the oncoming year. The game also mentions that the Ming Xiao Lantern is dedicated to something different each year, so I'm assuming the Adeptus it represents changes annually. A huge part of Chinese New Year that is absent from the game is the 12 animals of the Chinese Zodiac. 2021 is the year of the ox, but Skybracer is more of a deer. This makes sense though because while the Lantern Rite is inspired by Chinese New Year, it is not meant to be a direct copy. The last thing is the Dragon Dance, a staple to Chinese New Year celebrations. The dragon is operated by multiple dancers who emulate a dragon's flowing movements. In Chinese culture, dragons are said to bring good luck to people, so the longer the dancing dragon is, the more luck it will grant. Although no dragons make an appearance in the Lantern Rite, the idea of Chinese dragons was not completely ignored, seeing as how Rex Lapis is first presented in his dragon form. I am once again glad that MiHoYo is so passionate about culturally significant details. I mean it does make sense considering MiHoYo is a Chinese company. But anyways, I hope this video has taught you something interesting about Chinese New Year celebrations, and as always, thank you for watching.